Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 20, and this week we're going to have another look at the Open Racer Radio Control Car Project. We shut down the workshop for Christmas, so I'm at home this week, so it seemed like a good time to revisit the Open Racer Project. And that has been by far my most popular video, tens of thousands of views, loads of comments, over 500 downloads on the Thingiverse channel, and loads of views on the website. So people are really getting into it. So this week I've also put out a video looking at the electronics of the car, so check that out if you're interested. And what I want to do today is show you how to use Fusion 360, which is a CAD package if you're not familiar, um, to design some of the components that you'll need uh, to 3D print. Now, this car has been, um, well it originally came from designs that I made in 2009, so it's, it's been in the works for a good while now. And the motor mounts in particular, um, I've just freehand sketched on CAD, randomly applied various fillets and radii and as such, um, when I came to create a technical drawing for these, it was an absolute mess. Fine for 3D printing. If you actually wanted to lay this up and make it by hand, then the actual dimensions that constrain this thing, there may be like 20 or so different dimensions that you need to mark out before you can make it. And really all that matters is a hole for the bearing, a hole for the motor, two holes for the screws, two holes for the screws on the bottom. So we can make it a lot simpler. So that's what I want to do this week. I want to redesign it, show you how to use Fusion 360 to a basic level, then we'll 3D print a part. So what we're going to do is redesign this motor mount here. There's a left hand and a right hand side, but seeing as I'm drawing it in CAD, I'll just draw it once and then mirror it. Um, here's one of the 3D printed items. And as much as I love 3D printing, it does make you a bit of a lazy design because you can make whatever you want. You don't have to think about how the thing's actually going to be manufactured. So I think one of the mistakes I made was this was a totally arbitrary width. Let's have a quick look. Um, seven mil thick. Um, seeing as I'm going to expect some of my bench fitting students to manufacture one of these as a layup practice exercise, it makes sense to make it out of some, uh, some stock sizes. There we have it. Um, we've got a, a workpiece which is um, got some dimensions on it which we'll actually be able to manufacture now. So if you're not familiar with Autodesk Fusion 360, go and download it now. It's absolutely amazing. Um, a couple of years ago I was lucky enough to be a beta tester for the software and um, went out to Portland and saw it in a fairly early stage and it has just got better and better and better. Um, this is the model, um, Solid Geometry Workspace. They've got patch for surfaces, uh, a render space, animation, simulation, uh, computer-aided machining, which I've done a few videos on already, <clears throat> and of course the, um, the 2D drawing section. And because it's cloud-based, um, it gets updated almost nightly, and it's just amazing. Um, I'm going to do a lot more videos on this um, in, in the near future, but let's get on with drawing our... Um, I'll revise motor mount and I'm going to draw it in such a way that it's a bit simpler. So I'm working off the sketch. So I had a crazy idea that I was going to be able to draft this thing live and talk you through all the different des design decisions that I made uh, during this process. But actually it's, um, it's not a complicated process but it, there was a bit of thought that went into it so I think I'm going to leave this for another video. Here's a rough overview of the process that I took and the model that I ended up with. I'm going to 3D print this and I will release a separate video where I'm going to show you the dimensions and talk you through the, um, the full drafting of this part in Fusion 360. Click the card up at the top right hand corner to see that video. So there you have it, just goes to show just how easy Fusion 360 is to use. Our students at the college tend to use SolidWorks, so that's what our uh, university use. But actually Fusion 360 in my mind is probably more accessible, certainly to the average hobbyist. It's a free download, you can output to CAM, something you can't do as standard with SolidWorks. It does simulation, it does 2D technical drawings, it does 3D printing, laser cutting. It's a fantastic piece of software and I really recommend you download it. I'll be doing some more videos on that. And last week I did some CNC um, tests using the output from the Fusion 360 cam. So if you like these videos, subscribe, comment and like, and we'll see you next time.